welcome to the channel this is waga as always subscribe to the channel we have more content like this coming up and we will be continuing to build our swift ui uh, our swift ui instagram clone and what we're going to do today is we are going to hook everything up to firebase right and so let's get to work we could go to your firebase console hit add a new project give your project a name we could do that we could come here and we could make it use a flexigram like so let's let's just call it flexigram uh flexigram okay fine we hit continue and we don't want a b testing we hit create project it's going to take a while a couple of minutes uh while we're here i could tell you about um i have a flutter tinder project uh tutorial if you're interested in flutter have a look at it i also have other flutter uh tutorials around and um you can have a look at them if you're interested in making apps for both uh iOS and Android. So it's done. Let's hit continue. It'll take a couple of minutes. But yeah, so basically we have our app and we can hit iOS because we're building a Swift UI iOS. We could hit that and we don't need a nickname. We could hit, we could press register app, give it a couple of seconds. Uh, or maybe now the next thing we need to download is this file, the Google service info dot list or P list. Some people call it plist. Other call it P list I call it P list and we can download it and when we see it here allow and so we have downloaded it and we continue from there uh, Google service info dot P list and you drag it into your app and when you drag it you're going to get this pop-up you're going to take add to targets and we're going to say finish and it's going to be in the flexigram folder and we can continue from there. What we could do is we could uh, open our terminal and we hit spotlight that is command space hit terminal and we could cd into wherever our project is we could cd into desk um, mine is in desktop uh, cd stands for change directory cd code and then cd um flexigram2 like that and we get into it and we continue from there so is in our in the folder we could just type pod in it i'm going to assume that you already have coco pods installed but if you don't you have to install it so figure out how to install but we're i'm guessing you have coco pods if you're following this much this far so you hit pod in it uh, give it a second and um it is going to initiate our pod is we need to open the pod file so we could come here and we could say open open uh pod let me spell it correctly pod file like so and it's going to open our pod file and what we could come here and do is we could um we could type in what we want we could say we want firebase auth which will do this with authentication firebase storage for our images which will hold our images firebase firestore this will handle our um, our chats our dming and a lot of our text will basically handle our text and yeah we'll use those and we'll also use url image right okay those are the pods that we're going to get okay. pod and um what we want is a uh, fire firebase slash auth like so then we come down here and we say um we can copy this and uh we can copy it come down here and um paste this and come down here and paste this and um the next one is um that so here we could say we want firebase storage and after that we want firebase um or fire store and after that we want the um url image like so and that's what we do please we can go back to our terminal and what we could type here is pod install and this is going to take a couple of minutes and or a minute depending on your network and your computer so it's going to take a while and we'll come back when we are done um you go back to your terminal and uh, you first close xcode then you go back to your terminal and you could say open dot like so and it will open the folder and now instead of opening our usual xcode xcode project we're going to use the workspace right so we click on the workspace like so and we can see the various pods that have been installed you can see the pods that we installed into our into our app all being here 
and we can continue from there yeah? and it's telling us to do pod init we have done that pod install we have installed it we could hit next and now we come to um our app delegate you're supposed to put this in the app delegate but as you know with swift ui 12 the it has really changed the um the app our entry point for the app is no longer the app delegate it's been completely changed so what we are supposed to do is we're supposed to work here and put the app delegate here so that we can connect to firebase project and what we're going to do now is we are going to come to our app at the entry point of our app right and uh, what we could do first is we could import firebase we need to import firebase import firebase like so and after that we are going to come here and create a property wrapper and we could call this it's going to be ui application ui application delegate adopter that's what we're going to and use and we're going to say uh, we want to use the app delegate app the app delegate uh, dot self dot self like so and um after that let's get rid of our canvas we don't need a canvas here and so it can give us more real estate and here we could say var app delegate like so and after that we could um we could come down here and we could create the class we could say class app delegate and it is going to conform to ns object and ui application delegate like so and in here we could have um the application is did did um did finish finish launching like so and um the we could come in and we say the launch options the launch okay i think we should just use this we should instead use the come here and we could say um did finish did finish launching with options like so yeah that's the one we're looking for and um the code we could come here and we could say um we could just return true return true like so and after return we return true we could come here and we could set up our firebase and we could say firebase app.configure i believe that is the code that we are using um firebase app.configure we could just copy it to make sure that we do not um we copy that line come here and um paste it so that we get it correct i typed it correctly but let's just paste it firebase app.configure and just to make sure that everything is happening swimmingly we could just say print um firebase like so so after that, if we have done everything as it should be, um, I am not sure why this is complaining without more context. Okay. Oh, this is supposed to be up the app. Oh, sorry. I made a, I made a boo boo. We could say here app, app, um, app delegate, app delegate, like so, that's all and that's what we created here yeah so basically that and if we if we set up everything as it's supposed to be we hit the play button and um it should go as it is it should work right and uh, this usually takes some time so let me come back after everything has been set up basically that's done i can see our app and if we go to if we go here and we check we can see our dots firebase dot 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 meaning that um our firebase has actually been connected we have connected to our we have connected to our application let me just minimize this i think it was on this one yeah so here we could just say next and we could hit continue to console and yeah basically that so um the next thing we could do is we could enable the various services um we could come to authentication and for authentication we could set up a sign-in method and our sign-in method is going to be email and password so we're going to enable this and we're going to hit save and after that we could come to cloud fire store and give it a second give it a second and we could hit create database and we could start in test mode and we could hit next and you can choose where you want it to be 
I'm in Kenya, so I'm going to use Europe West since it's a bit closer than the US, I think. And we could hit enable and you could give it a couple of minutes or yeah, you could give it a couple of minutes, let it provision the file. And then the next thing we need to do is the storage. Let's just set it up now. We won't use the storage in the next. It will take a couple of videos before we get to the storage. But let's just set it up now so that um, so that in the future we don't have to come back to... We only come back to Firebase to check how our data is doing. And this is real-time database. This is storage. So we come to storage and um, we could hit get started like so. And we could hit next and we have Europe West set and we could hit done and it's going to create the default bucket that we're going to use and we're going to get URLs from so that we can display images and also this is where we're also going to send uh, images from the posts, the user's post plus the user's image, right? And so yeah, so basically that. So that's how you set up um, Firebase on uh, a Swift UI 2.0 app and also aside from just setting up the Firebase we have connected to the store the services on Firebase that we'll be using we, namely storage um, which will store our images uh, from the posts and the users and also the messages in the app you'll be able to send a message to another user as an image you'll be able to send an image right uh, basically the same thing if you have looked at my tinder clone we'll basically do the same thing you'll be able to send messages and um, text messages and uh, images right you'll be able to DM each other and also maybe put posts that people can comment on and um, authentication will enable us to sign in via email we're only going to use sign in by email right but you could set up it's not a hassle to set up sign in by Google or Apple if you want and finally cloud faster this will enable us to send messages and text and handle text and whatnot so basically that's that so um thank you for watching uh subscribe to the channel i have more content like this coming on and i will see you in the next video